We're starting our coverage here at the New Orleans Investment Conference. And my guest now is Peter Hug, Global Chain Director for Kitco Metals. Uh, Pete, good to see you on the road. Good to be here in New Orleans with you. Yeah, it's fun. New Orleans is a great city. So last time we spoke, we were talking about gold searching for this new catalyst. Today, it's still under the 200-day moving average here as we're speaking, coming under some pressure. How mm -hmm. do you see it? I was a little optimistic this morning when gold opened at uh, 1273 yep. above the 200-day uh, moving average. Uh, there was some pressure on the equity markets right at the outset, and uh, that pressure reversed itself, had the Dow going into positive territory, and some of the uh, capital reversed back from the metals back into the equity markets, and I think, uh, you know, took a bit of strength out of the market, and now we're back under the 200-day moving average at the 1265 do level. You, do you almost feel that gold just needs the election and this supposed yeah. Fed rate hike in December just behind it? Well, there's a, number, there's a number of potential catalysts that are coming up. And, you know, I think the fact that gold is holding well at 1250, there's been, you know, some serious liquidations uh, from the ETF side over the past uh, month. Uh, so there's been a lot of supply coming onto the market. The physical demand in North America has also waned to some extent at these new levels. But the fact that it's holding up 1250 indicates to me that it's happy to be at this level, seems fairly priced and is waiting for the next catalyst, which could be uh, obviously the election, which is coming up in a couple of weeks. Uh, but then in December, you have the Italian referendum, uh, constitutional referendum, which could open the door for Italy leaving the EU. Right. Still have Brexit coming up early next year. So there's a number of catalysts on the immediate horizon uh, that will break gold out of this range. And, you know, going back to the election, I know in the past we looked at, you know, what would Clinton do to gold? What would a, a Trump victory do for gold? But there could be a third possibility here. If Trump does contest the, the election results, should he lose? What would that do to the medal? Well, again, you know, <laughs> this election is, uh, is, is something that has been so extraordinary uh, from my perspective. I, I have never seen an election of this uh, uh, volatility. I don't know what other word I can use. I'm trying to be politically correct. Uh, but if Trump were to lose the election, and it appears that he will lose the election, at least at, uh, on recent polls, uh, but assume Trump loses the election and there was some c civil unrest after the election because uh, Trump supporters believe that the election was rigged, uh, again, it would, could create some issues with the U.S. economy, could create some issues with the U.S. stock market. Uh, I, I mean, it's an unknown, and the fact that it's an unknown, and if it were to become violent, and hope, hope to God it isn't, but if it did go that direction, uh, it would be price positive for the metals. It certainly wouldn't be a negative for the right. metals. Right. Well, we never know. It could be another Brexit taking place. It could uh, well, be a surprise. Could. <laughs> result. You never know what happens. It could uh, be. Pete, you're a speaker here at the conference. Uh, I know you're going to might bring up liquidity concerns, which is could be a controversial topic, but what can we expect to hear from you this afternoon? Well, I, I, I don't think I'm going to have many uh, fans left. Uh, uh, in the dealer community, after my uh, conversation, uh, my speech this afternoon, I'm going to be try. I'm going to try to be transparent and try to help the uh, the, the investors that are at this conference. Uh, you know, understand how the physical market works from an acquisition pricing point of view, and I'm going to be disclosing what dealers pay for product and uh, you know what the markups are and how dealers basically massage the market uh, with different product lines. Uh, and you know, give the investors a clearer understanding of uh, you know, depending on what their motivation yep. is, what products best might suit their uh, their needs, and uh, yeah, it might be somewhat controversial with the dealer community. And speaking of new products, CME launched this week uh, some new products, uh, innovative to the precious metals community. Mm -hmm. What do you make of them? I think they're great. Uh, again, I'm. Uh, a firm believer that when you want to trade metals, and sometimes you want to trade metals with the least amount of risk, and obviously there's, uh, th there are products available to uh, eliminate some risk, which are the options markets. Uh, but sometimes spread trading has proven very, uh, very productive. We've been uh, suggestive, uh, suggesting a number of trades over the past two years on platinum gold spread trades and silver, uh, silver gold uh, spread trades. Now the problem for the retail investor on those types of trades is they've got to go into the futures markets and let's assuming I want to be long silver short right. gold, uh, you'd have to buy a silver contract, short the equivalent gold contract, so you'd have margins on both sides, you'd have maintenance margins on both sides. A CME on Monday launched a product mm -hmm. where you're just buying or selling the spread. Uh, which I think uh, will create much more liquidity in the market and also I think will create some uh, volatility in the, especially in the platinum gold spread. It's already come in $30 since the uh, product was launched. On Monday, platinum was at a $330 discount to gold. 
Uh, today it's a $300 discount to gold. So I think it, it opens the door for smaller investors yeah. to get in and be able to trade like the big boys. Well, I'm surprised it hasn't come out before. You know, it takes some time to get products like this on the market. You've got to get the dealer community in behind it. Uh, you have to educate the public uh, on how to trade a ratio. So it's a process. Right. And, uh, you know, I think this is a good product. Uh, it's, uh, it's available in platinum gold. It's available in platinum palladium and, uh, and gold silver. So I, I think it will create some volume on the market. And you, you may have times, as we've seen this week in platinum, where gold has done nothing and platinum's gone up $30. And yep. silver's also sort of on a ratio basis gone up slightly uh, against gold relative Monday's value. Well, I'm sure CME will appreciate that endorsement <laughs> coming from you, Pete. Pete is not paid by CME Group, by the way. Thanks so much for joining us. You're welcome. And thanks for watching our coverage. We'll have much more for you. We just started off our coverage, kicked off our coverage here from the New Orleans Investment Conference. So be sure to stay tuned to Kitco.com. Thanks for watching, Pete. Thanks so much. Thank you.